I wanted to show you. Did you see this text? Okay. Um, so that's what Dante texted me. And I don't understand why because we're at the same party. Like, but Oh my god. Why would he say something like that? I mean, I don't... <sighs> I just, I don't even really want to talk to him. Why? Are you guys okay? Oh my god. Hey, look at this guy. Oh shit, the video. <laughs> oh shit. Eleven fifty-seven, bro. What time is it? It's three minutes to twelve. What time is it? It's almost twelve o'clock. Make him stop asking that. He's fine. Bro, let's snap out of this. I can't believe this is my life right now. Not in me. Is he passed out? What? Casey, is he passed out? Yeah. Dude, this is bad. I know. Do you? Because for some reason I just don't believe you. Kendall, what the hell? How can you be so cavalier about this? Do you have any idea what we've done? We? Babe, I'm the only one sitting in the driver's seat. There's no we on this one. Way to make this all about you. Whatever. I think we should pray. I'm sorry, what? We should pray. God will forgive us. This isn't a sin, it's an accident. I mean, we're not going to hell for this. <laughs> well, I've got a ton of reasons why I'm going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a joke. He's sorry. We're sorry. I think if we pray, it'll give us clarity. It'll just- Make you feel better? Honestly, yes. Then I say we pray. Okay. Think you're big enough to handle that? Me? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. I'll lead us. Let's close our eyes. Our heads. Oh, Jesus. You too. Oh, merciful God in heaven, we come to you as repentant children looking for guidance. We pray that you give us a chance to learn from this tragedy and see the errors in our behavior. We beg you to grant us mercy and to bring us back into your favor. And we recognize that this is your divine wake-up call. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost, we pray. Amen. That was beautiful, Eliza. Yeah. Very moving. Thank you. So you feel better? Oh, what now? Nothing. My feet hurt. Gosh. I'm sorry. Holy shit. We can't handle this. We can't talk about it. Do you want me to do no. it? No. I'll handle this. It's the right thing to do. I'm never drinking again. <laughs> mm. Okay. What's wrong? Um. I got it, Eliza. Thanks. Got what? Bro, come outside for a minute. What? Outside of the car. <laughs> Why? Just get out of the car! Shit, fine. Damn it. What's wrong?
him, Kendall? He's about to give his brother the worst night of his life. Damn it. What do you think he'll say? The truth? Here we go. Bullshit. It's not. I fell asleep. What? I fell asleep and you guys are just fucking around and playing a joke on me. No, 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 no. This is real. This is really happening. Is he drunk? No! You're always doing this, bro. You're always defending him. This isn't anyone's fault! Yes, it is! This is so clearly his fault! How are you gonna stand there and tell me it's not? Look! No, I you wanna... look! He is fucking everything up right now! This is all his fault! He knows it is! Stop defending him! It's not that simple! The hell it's not! You need to tell him to his face! If anyone else says it, it won't matter! You gotta set this straight, bro! I'm not going down for this! What? I had nothing to do with this. I'm not going to jail for him. Are you kidding me? No, and I'm not sorry about it. I'll tell dad, the cops, whoever, that you had nothing to do with it. Casey. Casey. I'm not sticking around with this. I'm graduating this year. I'm not going to jail, bro. Casey. I'm not a part of this. I wasn't even awake. I mean, if dad finds out that I was drinking, Should've never smoked that blunt. Why would you let this happen? What are you doing? I'm going home. Gee! I got this. But he's- I fucking got this! Alright. Bro, just stay, okay? Give us a second. Just stop. What? I'm your brother. I'm going to protect you. Good job so far. Casey, please, trust me. Dear Jesus, we come to you in our time of need. Are you kidding me? What? How much praying are you planning to do? You know, Jesus isn't exactly going to come down here and handle the police for us. The police? Kendall, I know you're not religious. No, 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 no. This has nothing to do with religion, okay? This is about reality and you need to join us in it. I'm sorry, weren't you the one who wanted to pray the first time? That was when we were still in shock. Shit is real, Dante! Did someone call the police? Kendall, just calm down! You calm down! This is serious, you guys! And the Virgin Mary over here needs to get that! Do you get that? No amount of praying is going to miraculously pull us out of this. It happened! We need to deal with this, not Jesus. You don't understand my faith. I know we have to deal with this. I'm fully aware of my reality. When you get scared and scream and try to understand how just how dire things are, I pray, I pray because I have faith that Jesus will help me process this. He's the only one who can ease my fears. Do you get that? I hate this day. I get it. Are the police really coming? Hey. Baby, talk to me. I can't do this. Sadly, we have to. No, I mean this. Us. What? You have once again managed to put me in another impossible situation. I mean, really, how do you do it, Dante? Kendall, you're not making any sense. <laughs> I get it, okay? We all get that you're fearless and live however you want and fuck the rest, and that's amazing. That's exactly why I fell for you. But it's time to fucking grow up. You need to start taking responsibility for yourself. 
you need to start taking responsibility for all of the consequences that you create for everyone who gets caught up with Kendall, you. what are you talking about? Oh, I hate you. Why are you crying? Because I'm pregnant. What does that even mean? What do you mean? What does this mean? I don't know. What does it mean? I don't think I'm keeping it. I am sorry. I am sorry that I didn't listen to you. You told me to get a different brand and I just wanted to do it so bad and I grabbed the box and I, I mean, I, I should've just spent the extra three bucks. Dante, I'm not getting an abortion because of you. I'm not ready to be a mother right now. We were reckless and I, I'm not going to put that on a child. When did you find out? Yesterday. I will go with you. When you go to get it done, I will go with you. I think Sarah Connors is into me. No, she's not. She definitely wants the D, bro. The D? She wants my D. Shut up, Casey. You're like six. She's about to graduate college. It's never gonna happen, no matter how many keg stands you can do. <laughs> Don't mention alcohol right now, dude. What, big man can't handle hearing about a solo cup? <laughs> He deserves it. Then again, I never should have let him come to the party in the first place. Do you think you could have stopped him? I mean, he doesn't seem like the type of guy that'll say, take no for an answer. Yeah, you're right. In some delusional way, maybe if he drank under my watch, I thought I could keep him safe or something. Hey, we're not perfect. But we can try our best to be, can't we? What are you doing? What do you mean? Uh, I was just, just trying to make you feel better. I wasn't flirting with you. Oh, shit! Uh, I totally misread that. <sighs> Clearly. Sorry, totally my mistake. Just, just stop, Gideon. I can't wait for the night to be over. I think you're making the right choice. For whatever it's worth or, or not worth, I... It's totally your call. I always plan to tell you about it. What do you mean? I didn't just blurt it out because I'm scared or sad about what happened tonight. I've decided to do it because I can't make that sort of commitment right now. Agreed, but do you still want to leave me? It's not about wanting to leave you. So then don't do it. Don't give me that smile. What smile? That smile. The, I'm sorry, you're so sweet, but I still gotta give you bad news smile. Got that all as a kid, and I fucking hate it. You know what I thought when I first found out? What? Dante would make such a great dad in 10 years. And then I thought, would we really be together in 10 years? And, and I don't know. We've been wrapped in argument after argument for the past three weeks, Dante. You resent me so much. I can tell. All night, you have been hanging out with everyone except me, except the guy you went with, your boyfriend. That's, but that's the problem. We've been getting better and better at not talking. We're having just a little communication problem. Right, we don't communicate. And without that, there's nothing else. And, and you don't want to fix it. Nothing's clear right now. Hey, you okay, man? 
Do I look okay? I'm just trying to like, trying to help. You know what, if you want to go ahead and throw up on yourself, be my guest. Dante? What, I, I, I'm supposed to feel bad? Mm, no conscience. I think I'm starting to see a theme tonight. Casey, get in the car. Are you? So I think I've got this figured out. Really? Really. I'm gonna bring you all home, I'm gonna turn myself into the cops and tell them the whole story. And what exactly is the whole story? I was leaving a party, and then Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I was leaving a party? Did, wait, wait, do you hear yourself? You're gonna turn yourself into the cops now. 45 minutes well after the fact? I, with the opening line, I was at a party. Gee, what? no, 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 it's a stupid idea. They're gonna immediately think that you're either drunk or high. Would they be wrong? Shut it, Casey! Thank you? No problem. Dante, I just don't see how this is a good idea. He's right. I, I mean, you can't just omit us from the story. People saw us leave together. I mean, we all pretty much practically carried Casey out of there. Oh, yeah, blame it on the miner. Look, it's my fault, and I can't just drag you onto this shitstorm with me. Dante. I'm. I'm gonna start taking responsibility. No, I am not all right. Are you serious? What's wrong? What's going on? I have to turn myself into the fucking cops right now and I... I don't... Dude, I don't know what to fucking do. Look, it was bad, I know, but it was an accident. I know it was a fucking accident. I was there, I didn't fucking kill him on purpose. I'm here for you, man. What aren't you telling me? I... I... I have to bring you guys home. I have to bring you guys home. No, that's what we're gonna... No, listen to me. I'm tired. I'm fucking exhausted. I don't want to live like this anymore. I can't do this anymore. I am tired, man. I'm fucking white. Dante, no. No, I can't be this guy every time. Always fucking up. I'm tired of it. We're supposed to be having fun. And, and, and now there's someone dead? I can't, I can't. What do you want me to do, man? I want you to get back in the car. No, man. G, I'm telling you to get in the car. No, G. No, man. You are my best friend. Get in the fucking car. All right, I'll go. Where the fuck? 
fucking keys! Don's it right here, man. Have faith, okay? Okay. I'll pray for you. Okay. Bye, Gideon. You understand. Right? I do. You promise? I promise. Okay. Sorry for being an asshole. Uh, it's alright, Casey. Sorry for putting you in the position of having to be one. Thanks. Uh -huh. Leave the door unlocked. What? Why are you looking at me like that? You're calm. What? You're calm. You're never calm. So you're freaking me out. <laughs> you're my person, dude. I love you like a brother. I love you too, dude. But something's up. You know, you're a damn good friend. So are you. Go in and get some sleep, man. Dante? Gideon. Alright. We'll see you tomorrow.
Sir, are you okay? Can you hear me? If you can hear me at all, just make a noise, sir. Anything. Shit. This is Officer 0178. We have an 1180 with a single male driver. He's clearly sustained major injuries. I'm requesting immediate medical attention. The vehicle is off the road on Route 25 North, between exits 6 and 7. Officer, does the civilian appear to be DOS? Officer, does he appear to be dead on the scene?